All right, Juanitosville, we're back here once again. Uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, this stone that I was talking about earlier this week. Uh, this was a stone that I did a little short video just on how to examine your stone, just to make sure that it's going to be official like a military missile. And uh, if you recall from a video that I did earlier, one of these, these angles were not right. So I took it to my buddy Dennis Barker's and we did some lapidary and i did for the first time start i, I uh, did my own he let me do it you know he's like hey you, you could do it and he just kind of gave me some little instructions this is the stone this is a uh, sonoran sunrise and it's a beautiful stone but it had a really sharp edge on this edge right here it was just really tall and the nose was really tall so if you guys can see this right here guys i rounded that nose um i rounded this edge rounded this edge so now if you look at it it has a really nice uh round to it that this that the bezel can hug and really what you want is that bezel to really hug and you want for it to hug uni uniformly 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 you want for the it to be to hug very nice around the stone friends so you kind of Whoever did this stone did a pretty good job, but I think they were tired or thirsty or maybe hungry or in a bad mood. But they didn't quite get it quite right. So another quick tip, friends, that I learned is Dennis was telling me that here on the bottom, guys, if this bottom angle right here is really sharp, like a 90 degree, then the stone is more brittle. It's more uh, susceptible to cracking. So what we did was we just went over the whole bottom of it and kind of rounded the bottom just very, very, very slightly. Rounded this bottom. And by rounding the bottom, you strengthen the stone. I didn't know that. Uh, any lapidary people out there probably know what I'm talking about. Or if they don't, then maybe something to consider. But yeah, if this is a very, very sharp edge at the bottom, then that is, I guess it makes it more susceptible to... Uh, cracking and by rounding the bottom it kind of just makes the whole stone itself a little bit stronger so that's something to consider but uh, yeah we did a pretty good job on this we kind of just reshaped it and really is ready to be set into a bezel and I, that's what I'm gonna do so for my next jewelry adventure I'm gonna do a really cool uh, design idea and I haven't decided if it's gonna be like this or if it's gonna be like this I think I'm gonna do it like this because I did one before like this where this is the top and this is the bottom but I'm gonna flip this one around and do this one the top this one the bottom be like a tier and a really cool like a dormant I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I'm gonna probably think about it over the weekend but I wanted to share this stone because I know you guys saw the video that I did where I was kind of just like man as I upon further examination I determined that it just wasn't quite ready to be set and if I did, then the silver would be wrapped around it and it would be a little wonky, especially here on the tip and on one of the sides. So, yeah, friends, uh, examine your stones. Make sure you look at them very, very closely and that they're going to you can visualize the silver wrapped around it just the way that you want it. So thanks, Dennis. Shout out to Dennis Barker. He's also in our jewelry group. And uh, thank you for that. This is another piece that I'm going to work on next week. This uh, Noble Art Dimensions did this. And I'm really looking forward to what I'm going to do with that. I haven't decided yet. This is what I'm working on for Matthew Bennett. Uh, this is going to be all sterling silver hatchet. I'm going to do a wrap down here. I'm going to wrap these feathers right here. And uh, it's getting close. So, yeah, friends, always leading toward moving forward, making our dreams come true as per usual. Uh, yeah, if this had any value to you, uh, keep follow, follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's... Uh, at Boom Jewelry Designs, just search Boom Jewelry Designs and you'll see my ugly mug on it, black and white picture for my uh, profile picture. And uh, I have a lot of really cool tutorials and helpful hints and tips and sometimes just jewelry adventures. We're just going out there creating what we can create. I do have a website also, it's uh, uh, boomjewelrydesigns.com. You can search that up. It's both mostly, it's basically just a gallery, but uh, you can email me and contact me there as well. Uh, my Instagram is at Boom Jewelry Designs. So it's all Boom Jewelry Designs across all three uh, platforms that I use really to like just share jewelry uh, ideas, concepts, knowledge, and finished pieces, man. I want to see what you guys are doing out there. So if you guys are creating cool pieces, I'm sure you are. I know you are. 
Um, if you want to share and you want to create more community, let's uh, link up on Instagram. That's pretty easy to message back and forth and give each other tips, ideas, share uh, successes, and sometimes challenges and failures, man. We learn from our mistakes probably more than we learn from our successes. So as always, uh, thanks for hanging out. I'm Benny. I'm out. Peace.